looking good, Space Man. I decided to take a little video of it because oh. you look so cool. <laughs> I see how you are. <laughs> I see how you He got a VR from his parents, and technically it's, I think it was theirs, but they have never really used it, so we have it set up in here. Look how cool that is. I was saying he looked like a cool spaceman. <laughs> nah, I can sculpt. You can get sculpt. Wow, look at that. He's sculpting. That is really cool. Fantastic. Hi, hi, hi. I don't know why I wanted to say it like that. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I decided to once again come outside because it is a beautiful, fantastic day and the sky is very blue. I can show you guys in a second. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of want to talk about a cool dream I had. Like, I don't know why. It was just every once in a while you have those dreams, you're just like, wow, that was like awesome. <laughs> And I mean, I can't really remember the details that much, but one of the big things that it revolved about was like, I was at some sort of school that was supposed to be like Hogwarts, even though it looked much more like a muggle school, but it was like Hogwarts. It was really weird. And I remember I was basically looking for my dorm or like where it would be like my dorm or, you know, where I was my common room whatever and like it was just, I just remember looking all the way around everywhere and just and then finding books on a shelf that had my name on it like like journals and stuff and I'm like wow I've been to this school before I think I remember when I came here last it was just really cool I don't know I thought it was really fascinating and fun and I always love Hogwarts dreams or like Harry Potter dreams because one of the recurring dreams that I've had in the past was like I was flying on a broomstick and it felt so real like I felt the broomstick I could feel the air on me and I was just soaring through the night sky it was so cool I mean this didn't happen in this particular dream but when I do have Harry Potter dreams I I really appreciate them so I just thought I'd share that little thing also in case I want to go back and watch this and be like oh yeah I remember that dream that was cool <laughs> I want to go to Hogwarts <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm just hanging out. It's a gorgeous day. Let me show you guys. See? Look how blue the sky is. Isn't it beautiful? I think it's such a pretty day. Even though all the deck furniture and stuff was like co like covered in water, at least the table was. So I wiped it down. And I'm just like, yeah, I gotta be outside today. It's really warm too. It's like 75 degrees. I'm like, wow, how cool is that? <laughs> I might make a TikTok actually. I don't know. I yesterday I was going on this big Phantom of the Opera like kick. I should put at least one of those. At least link some of those in in the description below. But like I was going like through all these Phantom of the Opera like things where you did duets and stuff and it was just so much fun. And then Salik and I wanted to try to do Notes. So Notes is a song from the movie Phantom of the Opera. I believe it's called something else in the actual Broadway play. But yeah, in the movie it's called Notes and it's the part where um, Monsieur Fermin and Monsieur André, which are the owners of the Paris Opera House in Phantom of the Opera, end up getting these notes, one from like, most of them, like, uh, mainly from the Phantom, but there's also things like they're re reading news articles because it was the day after uh, Christine Daae, like, performed and everyone was like, I love her, I don't like your uh, prima donna anymore. I don't want Carlotta. She's a diva. Get rid of her. <laughs> but Christine is amazing. And then there's the Phantom doing his demands as well in the song. And so Salik and I have this thing. I guess I'll just explain it because I'm talking about it. We love the note song. It's that far too many notes for my taste. And most of them about Christine. All we heard since became Miss Mustaye's name. Like that's just a tiny part of it. But it's like this thing where Monsieur André and Monsieur Femin are going back and forth singing to each other about everything, about how, oh, this is great with this publicity, but then, no, it's not because we're losing cast members. <laughs> and, but they're like doing this back and forth thing. And so Sleek and I would always, we decided a long time ago, because we love Phantom of the Opera so much, that we would, every time we were in a store together and we'd get lost in the store or something, or we're, we go off on our own, we're like trying to find each other, have one of us go like, far too many notes for my taste. 
and most of them about Christine, and then we find each other. It's hilarious. So we want to do that as a duet on TikTok. So I'm going to see if I can set that up. It's kind of hard to do the duet stuff, though, like set them up. I did it for um, a couple of Descendants songs um, for Sleek and I, and anyone else who wants to duet it, of course. But it's like more something like Sleek and I are like, we should do duets. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for stopping by and listening to this little video. I appreciate you watching it. Thank you. Talk to you again later. Bye.